All right, so what we're going to do here today is I'm going to do a little experiment to show you the effects of cigarette smoke on your lungs. The first thing we're going to start with is we're going to have a plastic bottle, in this case a Coca-Cola bottle. All I did was take some cotton balls, which I have here, drop them in the bottle, and fill up. The reason for the cotton balls is it's going to get all the tar and the sticky stuff stuck to it, so you can really see how much you're getting out of a cigarette. Next thing is cigarettes. We have some marble menthols here, and we're going to go ahead and light five of these, run them through here. This will simulate your lung, so as I squeeze, it's going to be the same as your lung inhaling and exhaling on a cigarette. So you can see all the smoke coming in, and then you'll see all the smoke coming out, and you'll see what's left behind on the inside of your lungs. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we've got our bottle cap with a hole in it, and we'll tighten this on here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these cigarettes. I'll get my four laid out for later. Get the one we're going to use. We're going to pop it right on top of the hole there, make sure it's nice and tight, so that we can get a good pull on the cigarette when I light it. Next, and here's the easy part, we just light it by squeezing on the bottle, letting go, okay? Now, if you can't see this from there, right now all I'm doing is squeezing the bottle and letting go. There's smoke coming into the bottle, there's smoke going out of the bottle, smoke coming off the cigarette, and smoke going in. We're going to go ahead and speed things up so that you don't have to sit here and watch me crush a bottle for the next couple minutes, and then I'll get back to you. All right, that first one's done, so I'm going to go ahead, put this out, lay it down, we'll get our next one. Alright, that's two down, we got three to go. If I unscrew the lid, just for a minute here, you can see all this smoke starting to roll out of there. That's only two cigarettes, we still got three more that we're going to get in there. So we'll go ahead and screw that back on. Keep on going. Now another thing I want you to see real quick, if you look real close at this cigarette here, you can actually see the brown where the tar is starting to burn on the inside of it. That's all that is, is tar. Also, on the back end, the filter's yellow, that's more tar. A cigarette that hasn't been lit yet, the filter's white. You can see the difference, how thick it is. If I actually take my fingers and rub this back end here, you can see where the tar gets on my fingers. That's real sticky, it's real slimy. That's what's coating the inside of your lungs every time you smoke. As I'm looking in this bottle, I can see there's still a whole lot of smoke in there that hasn't even gone out of the bottle from the previous four cigarettes. And these cotton balls that were once bright white, just like these, are now pretty much all yellow. Even the ones in the very bottom and the ones in the middle, where the smoke's hardest to get to. I don't even really want to see the ones on top yet. And matter of fact, there's so much smoke in there, I can't see the ones on top. So as soon as this last cigarette gets done here, we'll open up the bottle. We'll check out what the cotton balls look like, get all the smoke out of there. You'll see just how much smoke there was. You'll see the effect of the cigarette on the cotton balls. You'll see all the yellow, yellow nasty gunk in the tar. Um, the smoke residue is staining. Now before I open this up and I show you what's inside, I'm going to go ahead and break off this last bit that's burning. The inside of this filter here, 
filters, they say they're supposed to block the tar. They're supposed to keep the tar and everything from getting into your lungs. It's supposed to catch a lot of that smoke, a lot of the chemicals. While it does catch a lot, and you'll see why I say that in a minute, it also lets a lot through. Okay, the inside of a filter is nothing more than cotton. That's all it is. It's cotton compressed down into a little cylinder and wrapped in paper. So this is what normal cotton looks like. Nice, bright, and white. This is what the inside of our filter is going to look like. If you can bring the camera over here so we can get a little bit closer look. While I lay it on the table. For comparison's sake, I'm going to peel back this paper. Get all this paper off here in one second. Okay, now, for comparison's sake, stay over here. Mm -hmm. This is cotton. This is white. This is also cotton. This is not white. You can see the difference in color, the brown and the yellow. That's one cigarette. That's one cigarette's worth of smoke. There's five cigarettes in this bottle that I'm going to show you the cotton in a minute, but this is one cigarette. This is what you put up to your mouth. This is what you're actually sucking on when you smoke a cigarette. The tar is coming off of my hands, my hands are sticky. If I break this open on the inside, you can see it all through the middle too, okay? This back end is the actual end that's on your mouth, the blackest, the darkest, okay? What I'll do is I'll flip it around so you can see it a little bit better. This black end, the dark end, is the part that's on your lips. That's where your lips actually touch. This is the opposite end of it, the part closest to the flame. Okay, so the part closest to your lips is getting the most. So every time you have this up to your lips and you're sucking on it, guess what's coming off on your lips? All that black tar, all this tar is coming in on your teeth. That's why they say you get yellow teeth. That's sticking to your teeth. Okay, no matter how much you brush, they're going to stay yellow. Tar is very sticky. It's what they pave the roads with. It's no different. So we'll throw this out because it's gross. We'll throw that in there. Now, by this time, most of the smoke has probably seeped out. It's been a solid three, four, five minutes since I've uh, actually smoked the last cigarette with my lung here. But I'm going to unscrew the top, and I'm going to go ahead and push on the bottle and see how much more smoke comes out. Okay? A lot of smoke still coming out. That's three pushes, and the smoke's still not all out. Even there, there's still more smoke coming out. If I squeeze it quick, you can see it. So a lot of people think, okay, I stopped smoking, the smoke's out of me. It's not. As you can see, I'm sitting here squeezing this pretty much as hard as I can, as much as I can, and there's still a little bit of smoke coming out of it. Now, remember, we, this is what we started with. Nice white cotton balls, okay? That's what we started with. This is what we've ended with. So you can see all the gunk that's on there, all the yellow, all the black. And keep in mind, that's only five cigarettes. A lot of people smoke a pack a day. There's 20 cigarettes in a pack, so imagine this four times worse. Now, imagine smoking 20 of these four times worse than this every single day for 20 years and what it does to your lungs, how much is in there. Okay, that's why so many people have emphysema, bronchitis, lung problems, lung cancer. You name it, they got it, and it's because of this. Now, aside from just the lung problems, my hands right now are covered in ash and tar. My hands stink. All right, they smell like fire, they smell like burnt ash, they smell like burnt paper. My clothes, my sweatshirt, a couple of times you probably saw me lean away, that's because smoke was coming back in my face. My sweatshirt stinks right now, I smell like smoke. If I go over and take my fingers and stick them in the cameraman's face right now, he'll tell you too that they stink. I won't do that to him. Because he'll smack you. Because he will smack me, okay? My fingers, if you zoom in on my hands, you can see the black tar. That wasn't there five minutes ago when we started this. You can see bits of ashes all over my hands. If you look on the tablecloth, you can see ash all over the tablecloth. The inside of that, that water is brown. That was clear water. Okay, so this is all the nasty stuff that you're getting on you. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, take care of the rest of this, and we'll start talking about smoking and the bad effects. Thank you.